Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Jesverty adjustable DC power supply with coarse and fine adjustment. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So the voltage range on this is zero to 30 volts. Output current is zero to 10 amps. So let's get this open. Here we have a manual, cords, and the power supply. Let's take a quick look at the manual. It has a little tip sheet here. It says how to adjust the current without load. It says adjust the voltage below five volts. Let the positive and negative output terminals to the output line touch short circuit and then adjust the current. So here we have the manual. Now you'll want to read through this on your own. I'm not going to cover everything in it. This is the SPS 3010 model. So here are the specs. You can pause and read through those. Here's an overview of the front panel. So we have voltage display, current display, power output display, voltage regulator, current regulator. So that shows when it's in constant voltage or constant current mode. We have coarse voltage and coarse current knobs. And then we have fine voltage and fine current knobs. It has a USB power output. And then we have our terminals for positive, negative, and ground and a power switch. On the back, we have a cooling fan, power socket, and fuse. This talks about the operation. So this section here talks about constant voltage and constant current mode. So this talks about setting the current like we saw in the tip sheet. So this here says if it's in constant voltage mode and the resistance value decreases and the output current increases to the set current value, the power supply will automatically switch to constant current mode. So this here talks about connecting the leads. It has banana plugs or screw terminals. This talks more about constant voltage, constant current. This talks about replacing the fuse. So let's take a look at this. So we have some film on the front. Let me get that off. Let's take a look at the back first. So we have the power port on the bottom. We have rubber feet, and then we have vents on the back and the bottom and two sides. So on the front, we have our display and we have our adjustment knobs. So these do stop. When you turn them to the left, you can see the little lines here. There's the power switch. And then we have our terminals in the front. So let's plug this in. And it comes with these leads that have a banana plug on one side and alligator clips on the other. Now, if you're working with higher loads, you may want something a little beefier than that. Okay, so let's turn this on. So let's turn the current up a little bit. Let's turn the voltage up. So I'm going to connect a load. Here I have a headlight. So let's turn the voltage up and the amps up. So these are the course adjustment. So it's starting to light. Let's turn up the amps a little bit. So it's currently in constant current mode. Now I need to bring the voltage down and to bring it down to 12. Now I was using the course controls. I can use the ones on the left for more precision. So now we're at 12 volts. Now you can see when I turn the current down, it switches over to constant current mode at about 3.8 amps or so. So we can turn this down now. Say we want to dim this, we'll turn it down to 6 volts. So I'm at 575. I can do a fine adjustment over here. Now I turned it all the way and we're at 5.93. So I'll turn this down, I'll just turn it down all the way, and then I'll turn this up a little bit. That was too far. Okay, now we're at 594. I can turn this up. And I'm right at 6 volts. Okay, so here I have a multimeter. Let's try and measure this. I'll just measure off the terminals here and we're getting 5.99 volts. So that's very close. Okay, so let's test the current now. So I'll unplug this. I'll put my meter in line. 
So on the power supply, we're reading 2.642, and on my meter, we're reading 2.635. It's kind of jumping around a little bit there. This is not the best connection, obviously. So they're pretty close to each other. Plug that back in. So this is currently in constant voltage mode at 12 volts. It's drawing 3.987 amps. And then down here we have the watts, which is 47.84. So I can turn the voltage down. And we're at 6 volts now, and we're drawing 16.35 watts. So along with supplying DC power, you can charge devices with this. So here I have a lightning cable. I'll plug that into the USB port. So here I have an iPhone. I can plug the lightning cable in here. And here you can charge your phone. Now, needless to say, you can charge more than just a phone there. I think a port like that would be great for doing something like powering an Arduino or other small microcontroller. So that's the Jesver T adjustable DC power supply. I like how easy this was to use. You connect up your load, you adjust the knobs, you turn the power on here. It's pretty straightforward. It's nice that it gives you coarse and fine adjustments. That way you can get near your voltage quickly and then you can do the fine adjustment with this knob. The digits here are LED and seven segment, so they're very easy to read. It's a little hard to read with my studio light glaring at it on the camera, but in person, they're very visible. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.